Hi everyone! A while ago I made a video on DIY markers, um, DIY alcohol markers, um, using the Crayola marker refill kit. So you'll want to go and take a look at that video if you haven't already seen it. But since that video I have had a lot of questions about them, so I thought I'd just have a little update video to see if they still work and to see um, if they get some of the effects that people have been asking about. So let's grab a sketchbook. This is my Leuchtturm 1917 sketchbook, which is a nice smooth paper that works really well for markers. If I just zoom in a bit. Okay, so I made one, two, three, four, five alcohol markers, and then I also made two other markers. So let's see if they are still working because it has been quite a while since I made them, and I did put them away in a box in a drawer and haven't used them much since that video. So this is the one that I made using the ink, the, the black ink, drawing ink. So this is the black drawing ink. That is still nice and juicy, it's still working really well, so I'm impressed with that. Now this is the one that I made with the Windsor & Newton ink, uh, just the ink, no alcohol was in this one, it's just the ink. So this is the Windsor, Windsor, oh that went a bit wrong, my ampersand, Windsor and Newton, I can't remember the name of the, the colour now but it was sort of like a, an orangey shade so we'll call it orangey. So that's still working fine. Now on to the alcohol markers. So this is the alcohol marker that I made with this orangey shade of Windsor & Newton ink. And let's see if this still works. Now, thinking about it, I might have mixed it with the pink Windsor & Newton ink. I can't really remember, but go and check out the video because I went through each one so you'll see what I did to make these. But yeah, that's still working nicely. This is the more pink one, the pink Windsor & Newton ink. Windsor... Oh, my ampersands are terrible. I think it's because I'm writing at a funny angle because I've got the uh, camera tripod here in the way. So this is the pink shade. That's working okay as well. This one I made with the... I think I made this one with the blue Crayola ink that came in the kit. So this is the Crayola ink with the alcohol. Crayola blue. That's still working fine. Now this one I think is the shade that I tried to make using a kind of a greeny colour and a blue. Um, so I was trying to make a kind of turquoisey shade here. So let's see if this works. Now I don't know if you'll remember but this is the one that I had trouble making, I didn't add enough stuff to it so this one was already dry when I first made it. So yeah, turquoise shade. So yeah, it's still dry but it was like that when I made it as well. Um, yeah, that one, that one was a bit of a disaster. And this one is kind of like a, a mauve shade that I made. I think I made this using the blue and the red Crayola inks. Mauve shade. I really like this colour. Mauve shade. So that one still works fine as well. So all in all, they still work exactly as they did when I made them. Um, this one, as I say, was already 
I kind of messed that up and I didn't add enough stuff so that one was already a bit dry but other than that the, uh, the rest of them work just the same and you can kind of tell the difference between the Winsor & Newton ink here and the alcohol markers because the Winsor & Newton ink is it going to focus? The Winsor & Newton ink kind of goes on a little bit blotchy whereas the alcohol markers go on very smoothly and that's the whole point with alcohol markers we use them because they lay down really smoothly and they blend well now blending is one of the questions that I have a lot about these markers um, now I just need to say first that you know these markers are not a replacement for the professional ones. They're not a good replacement for Copic markers, for Letraset markers, Winsor & Newton markers, any alcohol markers that you can buy are going to be better than these because these companies have perfected the ingredients and the ratios of the ingredients in these markers so that they work well. Now this DIY that I did here was just a fun project. It was just something fun that you can try if you've got a Crayola marker refill kit and you want to try making alcohol markers, then, you know, this was just a fun project. The ratio of ingredients, I, I there was no scientific method to it. I was just making it up as I went along and I was just experimenting. That's all you can do here is experiment until you get a ratio of ink to alcohol that you like, that makes a marker that works well for you and for what you want to use it for. Um, now as if I just go back to the page where I used these markers way back when here it is. So I wanted to use these markers to create a pattern so I wasn't really using them to blend together or to, la or to layer. I was simply using them to colour in shapes and then go over it with a, a black marker pen so or a, a black fine liner pen. So for me my purpose was just to create a pen that would lay down nice and evenly as alcohol markers do and to use that to my advantage to create pretty drawings and patterns. So do they do they work similarly to other alcohol markers? Well let's grab the blue because I think this one works really well. I'm just going to zoom in a bit more. Is that going to focus? Let's have a look. doesn't really want to. There we go, that looks good. Okay, so if we draw a circle, colour it in, you'll see how it goes down nice and smoothly like other alcohol markers do. Now, we just give this a moment to dry. One thing that you all notice is it's not completely even and this is probably because you know these pens have been made by mixing a random amount of ink with a random amount of article, uh, article a random amount of alcohol and you know, like I say, the, the companies who make alcohol markers, they've perfected these ratios and they make markers that, that, you know, work well for artists and have a consistent uh, consistency. So, you know, these aren't going to be perfect. Now, if we draw another circle overlapping it, we'll see what happens. There we go, you can see it does make the shade darker where it's overlapped, so where it's layered you will get darker shades. Okay, I'm going to try another one. So that's overlapping there. So 
So hopefully this answers the question that someone had as to whether you can create shadows with these because normally when we layer alcohol markers it gets darker the more that you layer. So you can create some shadows here. If we draw another circle, we colour that in and then if we work more on this side to create a kind of 3D effect. Oh sorry that wasn't in frame. I'll do it again so you can see what I did. So I'm colouring in the circle and then I'm going to start colouring in more over one side to create a kind of, you know, gradient effect there. So we just take a little look on the other side. You'll see that it, it does go through a lot. Now what's interesting is you can actually see, let's get this to focus, let me zoom out and then I'll pull it closer. You can kind of see on the edges there's a kind of purpley tint and that just shows us that you know these are homemade markers, they're, they're made up of you know, this one is made up of Crayola ink, Crayola ink and alcohol. Crayola ink is a water-based ink. It's not really designed to be used as an alcohol marker, but the effect is quite, quite good, you know, for, for a homemade DIY marker. Now, do they mix is another question that I get a lot. And the quick answer that I'd give you without even trying it is probably going to be no, because when you mix alcohol markers, you're choosing colours that go together well, that are known to mix together well. Um, I just made whatever colours I wanted here. I wasn't really thinking about which ones would mix together well. I was just, you know, making the colours that I wanted. So let's have a think. What colours might go, might blend? Um, I might try... Hmm... Let's just try some. I'm, not, I'm really not sure what's going to work. So let's try the blue with the mauve kind of colour. Okay, let's try the... Oops, that's the, yeah, that's chewed up there and that just, <laughs> I should have noticed I put this elastic band on. This is just the, the pure Winsor & Newton ink one and that's why it's immediately chewed up the paper. Um, this is the one that I want. Now, as you saw with these ones, you can work over it quite a lot without chewing up the paper. So that's a really, a really good plus for these. Let's try mixing that with the pink one because they're quite similar shades so they should mix together. Well, not mix but sort of go together well. So as you can see here, we've got, these two are probably the closest shades to each other and they have they do go over one another but they don't blend. So um, this is the Winsor & Newton ink pens, the orangey shade and the pinky shade. And yeah, they're not blending together. Um, I'm just going to try the. Where is the turquoise? Here it is. I'm just going to try the turquoise and the blue. Even though this turquoise is quite dry, it's quite similar to the blue. So let's see what happens. And also, both of those, I believe, are Crayola inks. So let's see if that does anything. Now 
Now I almost chewed up the paper there. Um, what you want to be careful with, even with alcohol markers, is if you keep layering on it when it's, you know, straight away, when it's, you know, hasn't had a chance for the alcohol to evaporate off the paper, then you are going to chew up the paper because you're adding a wet media to it um, too much. Anyway, um, so as you can see, that one does blend a bit better. Um, those were the Crayola water-based inks with alcohol. So, you know, there is no hard and fast answer to your questions here. Um, they are homemade markers. We haven't used, you know, any kind of recipe. You're just experimenting with these. And that's all you can do. Um, I would say, you know, have a go. If you want a fun project or you want to just try and make a few of your own colours that you can use, then, you know, give it a go and just experiment with the ratios of ink and alcohol and see what you can come up with, um, you know, and just, um, just have fun, really. Have fun. Don't expect them to replace, you know, professional alcohol markers because they're not professional alcohol markers. Um, but they are certainly good fun to make and to use. So I hope this video helps answer some of your questions and I hope you enjoyed both this and the original video where I made them. Um, so have fun and I'll see you next time.